move on. It's just standing there. It is just standing there. Just like we've been. Ever since last time. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, yes. is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep... Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Well, I kind of already know why, ever since the VI lady pretty much screams at everyone walking by within two feet. Don't bother the campers, oh my god. Anyways. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Yeah, let me get arrested instead. Uh, screw it. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Well, since he's sending me credits, do I really care why? I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Sure thing, Corbin. I just love scanning for life forms. No, I haven't. Uh... I will the hunt them all down immediately. Notes. If I gave it a good half hour or so, I could probably track them all down, but I'm not going to make you poor people sit through that nonsense. Between my comings and goings on this station, I'm sure I'll find them all, and I'll just edit out the journey. Maybe I'll make an entire episode or something. They really can be a hassle tracking them all down. Caden, what you thinking about Caden? You thinking about Jenkins? Bag him and tag him, right? Psycho. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best. What members. evidence? Really natural, they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. Yeah. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. You hate politics, you hate politicians. And here you are, taking your orders from both. At the end of the day, who do you think controls the army? It's like, sure, they listen to the general. But who do you think tells the general where to go? Creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Hmm. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. 
exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? I think we all know Forcing this. religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah, uh, Bardic Warrior has yet to gain enough. Well, I'll, I'll solve back. that later. This one will continue to spread its message. Good for you. Uh, I'm not really sure where I should be going next. Maybe I should go to CSEC. And if not CSEC, I'll probably cut this out. Because if it's not the CSEC, then it's to the boards? Bit a minute. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Darn. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. <laughs> many why. colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, it's not like anyone could have protected from the giant mothership of tentacles. The thing was a hentai dream and it's from the sky. Notice me, senpai. Ooh, la la. Let me see. Actually, the shop was this way. Maybe I can get uh, some upgrades. Dunno. I mean, I can't get any of the good stuff. Oh man, Spectre gear is so good. But maybe I'll find a license or a grenade upgrade, something One good. Sec. Looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I probably will, but thanks anyways. 
Uh, let me see. 100 for a license, I'll take it. Oof. I don't think this compares. I mean, it's not bad. How much was it? 200? Yeah. Actually, I'll buy that. Sweet. Nice to see so many humans working for CSAC. Racist. What was it? I? I. And apparently I had a new assault rifle the whole time. Yeah, I just kind of breeze through the replay of Eden Prime just because it's Eden Prime. If you think Kate or Ashley both did better, by the way, massively mistaken. Oh, I can't use heavy armor. Why the hell not? Where is heavy armor? Son of a... Whatever. Well, at least that's why I know I can't use it. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that I can't even equip it. Although, I guess pink could make good use of the armor. Maybe. She can't use heavy army either. Cool. It's the lords. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. And the Hanar just don't give a the fuck. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. The jellyfish just do not care. You gotta admit, for elevator music, it's kind of catchy. Aha! Hands up, Keeper. Oh, there's one. Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura, it's the Grand Champion. I can't believe it's you standing here next to me. I'm sorry, I just never thought no I'd idea. meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. But hey, it's kid, an honor to meet you, Commander. It can what be are you worse. doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, Do you know a CSEC guy? officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. <laughs> I suppose walking away while he was talk still talking was kind of rude, but eh, what's he gonna do? Stop me. Man, I used to dream of seeing this kind of stuff as a kid in real life, you know?
Doctor. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Uh, I thought she had a, med a Metagel upgrade, but maybe not. Oh well. Let me see. Cora's Den. Undercity. Undercity? I think I'm mixing up my game terms. Undercity is something else. that again. I swear the files are jumbled up or something. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Mm. The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. She's talking According herself to the old dudes, up. We have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans, ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? All right, enough chatter. Let's move out, people. Aye, aye, Commander. Yeah, I like how uh, Mary Shepard there was talking herself up. Commander Shepard? Or maybe she is less. I don't Shepherd. know. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> but I'm you gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements me. of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Um, let's not get that. Get ahead of ourselves. Let me see. Up here was Flux, I think. I think, it, yeah. Oh, I never did check out the Shadow Broker guy. I guess I could just fast travel to get him, get to him real quick. God, this music. Am I gonna find Fry? Hey, good to see another human in. It's out of my hands, Richard. I bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Yeah. stubborn your sister can be. The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, girl. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? 
Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. Say she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Just tell me. Uh, no, really, it's okay. Go on. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Such high stakes. A stranger walks up to you, who is heavily armed, by the way, and gasps very specifically for this information, and you just give it to her? You're gonna get your sister killed, lady. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. <clears throat> Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, yes, yes. How about you, Doran? Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Likely. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. I should be going. Enjoy your time here oh. in Flux. One of those kind of a plays, huh? Make it rain, Jenna. I all right then. Never really liked playing the, um, the games, except. Oh, hey, look, keeper. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace the suit. I never did play the uh, the Quasar games. I have literally no memory at all of playing these games. Maybe later I'll play one. Just a game or two. Uh, <laughs> watch me play a game, and then an addiction to gambling was born. Uh, let me see. Ward's access corridor. Anyways, uh, before I walked in here, I was thinking about going to the Shadow Broker. Since I'm up there, I might swing by CSEC to talk about uh, the whole Jenna thing going on. So, next time, that's exactly what we'll be doing. Until then, keep yourselves out of trouble, and I don't have any clever comments. Bye.